Welcome back to Thursdays. Uh, sorry I haven't made a video in so long. These last two weeks have been insane with work. Because, I don't know, for some reason that just happens. I'll have like nothing for three weeks and then I'll have everything the same week for every class. So, um, I don't know. It It's a lot better now. I've cleared up a lot of my schedule and I have less homework today. So, I can make a video and it's cool. Um, so this week, and it's just in time for a really cool theme, which is, um, on music and sort of, like, the importance of, like, listening to music when you learn a new language. So, um, the first way that you can use music in when you're learning a language is through, like, passive listening, um, which is just, like, you listen to it in the background while you do other things, and that is helpful, um... I mean, I don't have any, like, scientific evidence showing it, but I do feel like it is helpful because at least subconsciously you're getting these sorts of, like, grammar rules and just even just, like, pronunciation, even if, even if it's just, like, how things are pronounced that are going into, like, your brain. And even if you're not fully aware of it, it's just sort of there. You're listening to it. You're exposed to these sounds um, that you're trying to learn. Um, Obviously, listening to music shouldn't be the only thing. It should be accompanied with like, either a class or your own studies, websites, whatever. Um, but it is good supplemental material. Um, and it's especially good if you use it actively and try to learn from them. Um, but passively is also very good. I use it. I listen to music in other languages passively a lot. Um, mainly because I like them. When you listen to, when you're learning another language, it exposes you to brand new artists you would have never heard of and that are amazing and, like, you'll love their music. Um, so that's, like, the most important thing for me. Um, and I do enjoy listening to a lot of different um, bands and stuff. Uh, so that's, I don't know, that's what I do passively. But occasionally when I do have time or when I particularly like this, like, specific song, I will sit down and, um... First, I'll try to get what I can out of the lyrics on my own. Um, you know, generally, once I've decided I like a song, it's because I've listened to it 20 times in a row, and I've been able to pick out some words out of it just from listening to it so many times. Um, and then, like, whatever I can't pick out, I'll look up the lyrics to, and I'll learn that way. I'll find out, like, brand new words that way, um, especially if it's a language that I'm not quite as fluent in yet, like Swedish. Um, I learn a lot from um, listening to music and looking up the lyrics. And um, just singing along to songs really helps with pronunciation. I feel like I feel like that's what it helps the most with, or like one of the most important things. Because just, because there's like, with, mu with music, it's like you have to follow the beat. Like you can't talk slowly, you have to do it in this rhythm and the speed, and it has to be, like, with these pronunciations. And if you don't, it sounds wrong. You're singing it wrong. It, it doesn't sound good. So singing a song does encourage you to um, just be able to pronounce things better and speak faster, I think, um, because you just get used to this sort of mode of, I don't know, like, just speaking. Um, I don't know, it, it's kind of hard to explain, but that's sort of what I feel like when I listen to music and when I try to sing along to music. Um, I feel like it improves like my speed and pronunciation um, and general fluidity. Um, I mean, obviously, singing is different from speaking. There's always different differences in pronunciation there. It's not going to be the same, but I feel like it is similar enough where you can still learn a lot from it. Um, but yeah, do keep that in mind. Um, pronunciation is different. Even in English, if you listen to a song in English and then like listen to speaking in English, there can be very wide differences in the ways that people pronounce things. But um, I don't know. It's similar enough where you can still pick out and learn a lot. And the reason why I like music, because I actually very much enjoy um, listening to music and singing to it, is just it's a lot of fun. I think it's a really good way to learn things, and I think the best way to learn a language and to learn anything at all is to make it fun. 
which is why I always encourage people to like, you know, watch movies, watch TV shows, listen to music, read books that they like in these languages, because if you do something that you already like in English or in your native first language, you do it in a second language, you're going to enjoy that too, and it'll just make the whole experience more fun, and when things are fun, you learn better. You're not spending time being like, oh, this is boring, I hate this. You go, oh, this is boring, I hate this, you don't learn anything. You learn very slowly. Um, so as long as things are enjoyable, you learn them faster, you learn them better, which is why I think that music is really good. I think everybody enjoys music. If you don't, why? It's a sad existence, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I think that's a good method of learning a language. Um, yeah, learning lyrics can introduce you to um, more vocabulary, vocabulary that might be more specific, depending on the to to like the topic of the song. Um, you know, vocabulary that maybe you wouldn't have been exposed to in a classroom. Um, so it's it broadens your horizons a little bit. And um, for me, I just wanted to talk more specifically. Also, um, I think rap songs are the funnest, the most fun ones to sing along to because they are so fast and challenging and also because rap songs oftentimes incorporate um, cultural references, cultural aspects, political references, um, which can help you learn about the culture itself and not just the vocabulary of the song and the language. Um, so I enjoy um, Movitz a lot. Which they're like a rap, like electro swing, like a swing rap kind of thing. Um, which it's very fast. It's a lot of fun to sing to because it's so fast. It's very difficult, but I enjoy the, I enjoy challenging things occasionally in languages. I think that makes it fun, and they include a lot of references to things. Um, let's see, like there's one song, um, Spiala. Um, which it's featuring them, it's with Zaka, Zach, um, where they reference a, bu a bunch of other Swedish artists, other Swedish musicians, um, and ba basically they're like criticizing like um, the types of songs that get played on the radio in Sweden are the ones that sound most like American songs um, or something like that, so they mention a lot of like um, other bands um and that song and i i think it's really interesting um it, it puts in another aspect to your learning if you listen to a song and it makes references like that instead of just sticking to like a uh, love songs or whatever um but those are fun too anything anything that makes it fun i think is worth your time to be quite honest because as long as you're having fun you're learning and as long as you're learning you're making progress so that's pretty much my motto with learning languages um but yeah i don't know if you like rap songs check out rap songs in foreign languages because those are the most fun for me i don't know i enjoy those a lot um but yeah i don't know maybe i'll include some musicians in the description because i listen to a lot of foreign languages especially in uh, french French and Swedish, especially. Um, I listen to a lot of bands and musicians, so maybe I'll include some. But other than that, that's pretty much it. This is getting long. I don't want to speak any longer. So, bye.